Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video is actually a recommendation made by these two people right here. The first one wants to know how can we add custom fonts to our PDFs? And the second one wants to know is how can we have custom styling such as a background color for each of our pages in our PDF? So let me show you exactly what we're going to be building. So on the left side is what we have currently from the last tutorial from basically from the basic setup of React PDF. In this tutorial, uh, we have custom styles for each page like this. And we have custom content, custom image of the greatest player of all time. The players are going on right now and I wanted to pay homage. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so last time we left off our PDF file.js was looking something like this right here. We had our styles right here. We had an image of LeBron our imports for React PDF and our just our content for our page. So the first thing that we need to tackle is how do we actually add custom fonts? Now, fortunately, React PDF already has a method of adding custom fonts. So the first thing that I'm going to actually do is inside of my source folder, inside of my source folder, I'm going to create a new folder called fonts. And inside of here, I'm just going to go ahead and add a font. So I have this font called Anton regular that I'm just going to go ahead and put in. It's coming in from Google fonts, but you can, as long as it is a .ttf file, it'll work. Um, so once you've imported it, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to import something called font from react, react, oops, it's at react dash PDF slash renderer. And then after that, we're going to go and import our custom font. So I'm going to call it my custom font from dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash fonts slash Anton dash regular dot TTF. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type font dot register. So we need to initially, so we need to initialize the actual font that we're going to be using. And then I'm just going to call it family. Now this is going to be the, um, this is how we're going to tell our app that this specific font is going to be related to this font family. So I'm going to just call it Anton family. And then after that, I'll give it a source. And this source is going to be equal to, you probably guessed it, my custom font. And so to use this custom font is actually really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to give wherever we want to target this font, we're going to give it font family and then we're just going to call Anton family. So now our title is going to have that custom font of Anton family. This text will have the same thing. Uh, our header will have the same thing and so will our page number. And so to test it out, I'm just going to go ahead and refresh my app. And then if I click on download, I open this up and we see that our font has changed from Times New Roman to Anton family. Every single part of it has changed. So that's the first part. Now let's go ahead and talk about how we can add dynamic styling for each individual page. All right, so for the sizing solution, there is no one size that fits all for this problem. Um, I did my best to figure out the best way to approach this. And what we're going to do is we're going to first create a variable called page colors. And we're going to make that equal to an array. Now this array is going to contain some hex codes that I'm just going to go and copy and paste. Uh, these are the same as hex codes that we saw in the beginning of the video. And then what I'll do is make another variable called const pages, which is going to be equal to an array. And then each of these arrays are going to have individual objects. So I'm going to create three different objects. Now for the first object, I'm just going to go and copy and paste what I have already. So for the first object, it's going to take a key of text and a value of first page content goes here and then image we're going to give it the lebron stretch image that we saw in the beginning of the video and then we're going to copy and paste this again so i'll call this one second and this one to the third and so just to save some time i just added some other images from the internet uh, but what we're going to do now is we need to just apply these two variables to our actual pdf pages so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of all of this text right here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create some curly braces and we're actually going to be mapping over the page it's called pages, the pages array right here, pages.map. 
and I'm going to give it two parameters so it'll be called page and index and then I'm going to call it like this and I'll just give it a return key and then inside of the return key I'm just going to go ahead and paste this into there so now our entire page content is now within this that's the easy part done now the next part that's a little bit more confusing is for this page right here I'm going to give this a key of index so our map knows exactly which index it is on and then I'm going to just go ahead and encapsulate this style body in another array and then at the beginning of it I'm just going to give it dot 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 and then at the end of it I'm going to give it our custom background color so background color which is going to be equal to our page colors right here so what it's going to do is going to go through each individual page color and display them from there now there are different ways of doing this you can just go ahead and create a function if you wanted to randomly create new colors but this is a pretty simple solution that a lot of people will be able to understand and then after that i'm going to go ahead and do page dot text and then for the source i'm going to give it page dot image there we go i noticed that i had a small typo um, i forgot to apply the specific index of which color we want so i'm just going to go ahead and give this index and so now if i were to refresh my page loading document click on download open it up and now we can see that we have three different colors and each of those colors have their own specific content applied to them and that's pretty much it so that was a little bit confusing let me just go ahead and quickly talk about what we did so firstly for the fonts what we need to do is we need to import something that comes straight out of react pdf renderer which is called font this allows us to initialize whatever fonts we want so we can initialize um, an Anton family give it the source and then supply that name wherever we want to use it that's the fonts now for the page colors and the dynamic styling we can do two different ways we can either create a function that can give us different colors each and every time or we can just have an array a simple array that is going to correspond to a specific color and then after that we can give um, specific content for each page so for example this page will have um, this text right here with this image this text right here with that image and this text right here with that image and then we just go ahead and map through all that information and then that's pretty much about it now there is one issue with this method let's say you have a whole bunch of content for your first page that page content is going to overflow and then you're going to have two of the exact same colored pages for that issue what I would recommend is that you can create a function that will separate out the string and then create a new object and then uh, that new page will have a different color so you can go you can really customize this however you want but this is a pretty basic way on how to approach it i hope you enjoyed this video i hope that it helped you out and if it did be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one peace